Want to start with this tonight. According to a brand new poll, Americans' values are changing quite dramatically, if I may add. And you've got to ask yourself, hey, is it all because of college campuses? Are college campuses to blame? I'm going to explain. How's that for a rhyme to kick off the night, huh? Uh, also, though, in just a few moments, I am going to give you some hope tonight. All right, so stick around for that as well. Now, many people are going to tell you when they see college campuses, they think about them as essentially, for lack of a better term, we've all heard this, they're indoctrination zones. You send your kids there, they get indoctrinated, a bunch of liberal policies, socialism. The thing is, when we hear these stories, we ever think, oh, that, that's only in California or it's only on the left coast. The story I'm going to share with you tonight right here in the heartland. I mean, it is such a stunning story, and it is right here in the heartland. Now, before I get to that, I want to share with you, according to this new poll, it was NBC and Wall Street Journal, how American values are changing, and quite dramatically, since 1998. As I show this to you, please keep in mind about the story I'm going to share with you in a moment, how we just mentioned, hey, are our college campuses indoctrination zones? Because here's what's happening, according to the values across our great country. The good news, I guess, for us is that according to this poll, hard work still valued since 1998. So that's a good thing. But the things you can see there towards the bottom and the, the two that actually jump out are the ones I want to focus on anyways, is the fact that patriotism has gone down by nine points. You can see there from 70 to 61, people are less patriotic, but also look at religion from a 62 to a 48. That is where they value their faith, value their religion, dropped dramatically. So please keep those numbers in mind as I share this story with you about a professor at a Kirkwood Community College in, in Iowa. I mean, to me, that that's our backyard. This is not San Francisco. This is not Berkeley. This is Iowa. This professor is a part of Antifa. And wait until you see what this professor posted about Christians. Keep in mind what I just said about values change in America, college campuses, indoctrination zones, and then look at what this professor posted about Christians on social media. Here's the story. This Facebook page for Iowa Antifa shows a litany of far-left statements and conversations. One of them features a tweet from President Donald Trump where he calls Antifa radical left whack jobs who go around hitting people over the heads with baseball bats. Professor Klinsman wrote in response, Yeah, I know who I'd clock with a bat. The Secret Service tells I-9 they're aware of Klinsman's post but won't confirm if they're investigating it as a threat to the president. I would advise people to be careful what they say on social media. Sarah Riley is a Cedar Rapids attorney. While she acknowledges what Klinsman posted may suggest an act of violence against the president, don't expect him to be charged. It's so ambiguous that there's just no way he would ever be considered to have made a true threat. Klinsman's worked at Kirkwood since 2010, and his use of social media doesn't stop with Antifa. A search through his Facebook page shows over the years he's also made statements expressing his desire to stop evangelical Christians, where he included a poem that said, kill them all and bury them deep in the ground. Adding, it's not pretty and I'm not proud, but seeing what evangelical Christians are doing to this country and its people fills me with rage and a desire to exact revenge. We shared what we found with Kirkwood, but the college declined to comment, calling it a personnel matter. My first reaction was just knowing that this is someone that I need to be praying for. We also shared Klinsman's post with Pastor Dave Doyle of Hope Christian Fellowship in Cedar Rapids. He thinks the professor should be removed from the classroom immediately. This is not something you can just dance around the topic. You have to confront it. You have to face it. You have to deal with it, sometimes very bluntly. And I, I, I don't see that that's where Kirkwood is doing that right now. Do you think that Kirkwood has grounds to get rid of this professor? Not a, no, I think the First Amendment would prohibit them from getting rid of him. Riley says because Kirkwood is a public institution, and as Klinsman hasn't broken any laws, there's not much they can do about the views he's expressed. Records obtained by I-9 through an Iowa Open Records request further reveal Kirkwood has no policy barring faculty from joining groups like Antifa. There is, however, one on the books that warns instructors that the public may judge their profession and their institution by their utterances. 
Hence, they should show respect for the opinions of others. I wouldn't myself as a professor want to be associated with acts of violence that are attributable to a movement of individuals like Antifa. Jason Plazakis is a former director for the U.S. State Department specializing in counterterrorism. Plazakis says when discussing Antifa, it's important to note they're not like other extremist groups, as they have no hierarchy and no clear command structure. Nevertheless, the University of Maryland's Global Terrorism Database has linked them to more than 200 incidents worldwide. None of those that they've documented, however, have happened in the United States. I would just say if, if I'm an individual living in Iowa, um, I'd be more concerned, I think, in the statistics bear this out, of being um, an individual that suffers because of a mass shooting carried out by an individual that may have right-leaning sympathies. Of course, they had to just throw it in there. Hey, you should be more concerned about those white guys that have right-leaning sympathies. By the way, that gentleman right there co-authored a piece about saying, hey, the Muslim Brotherhood, which I'm sure you're well aware of over in Egypt and whatnot, says, they're nothing to worry about. Those Muslim Brotherhood guys, even though they hang out with Hamas, they're good peeps. Nothing to think about. Folks, those are your tax dollars at work right there. Professor, part of Antifa, saying Christians should be killed and buried. It enrages him what Christians are doing today to this country. That is at a public institution. Again, yes, he's got First Amendment rights. Yes, he can say what he wants, but definitely doesn't need to keep his job. And you and I both know that your kids don't need to be sitting in a classroom with that person. So I bring all that up. Because I want to remind you quickly, President Trump tweeted this out recently about Antifa. Major consideration being given to name an Antifa an organization of terror. Do it yesterday, please, Mr. President. Just put it on them and say, look, we're sick and tired of these guys showing up in masks. They got masks on assaulting people wherever they're at. So, yes, make them an organization of terror. And we also should pass this law regarding domestic terrorism. More